morning. Uh, in the background, you might be able to hear Pachelbel's Canon in D. Hopefully with no commercials. I hate commercials. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. I'm having breakfast before I go to work. I often hear religious fundamentalists make bizarre claims about atheists. My favorite is that atheists, as an atheist, that I think I am my own god. Or that my belly is a god. This is a god. This is not a god. This is my belly. It is not a god. I am not a god. I am an ordinary mortal with no magical powers. I am not a god. So no, being an atheist does not mean that I am my own god. It means I don't believe in any gods. Period. And obviously, I'm sitting right here, so obviously I cannot be a god. Logic, folks. Apply it. Thank you. Wow. Another one is that I'm an atheist because I don't want to be responsible. This is a, an inversion of reality. Because the moment... Mm, the moment that you accept atheism, you also accept responsibility. You realize that there is no magical, invisible God that you can blame shit on. There is no magical, invisible God who's going to fix things for you. You are responsible. I am responsible. I have obligations to myself and my fellow human beings and to all living things. Obligations that religious people can never really understand. Especially religious people of the Judeo-Christian Islamic persuasion and especially those who adhere to fundamentalist ideologies you can never quite grasp. Well, if they're fundamentalists, they can't even come close to grasping it. But the concept of personal responsibility. I am responsible to my fellow human being, to myself, to life in general. Ta-da! That's atheism. Personal accountability. Then another one is, well, you're just mad at God. Where again, no, I'm not mad at God. I'm not mad at elf. I'm not mad at unicorn. I'm just living life. And then of course, there's, you just want to sin. Again, no, I don't even know what that means. How does one sin? How does that even work? those delicious crumbs. How does one sin? It's a meaningless concept. I have no interest in even figuring out what it means because it's that ridiculous. It's kind of silly, really. Basically, being an atheist means not having a magical, invisible God that you can blame for everything. It means having to be responsible, having to be accountable, because you don't have a magical God that you can dump everything on. It means acknowledging that you are not a God, and it means acknowledging that we are all in this together. We need to work together to make the world better for everybody. And this is a concept that I'm sure that most reasonable people will understand and accept. Working together to make things better for everybody. That a 
if I make things better for you, things also become better for me. Within reason. Yeah. And this really is the conclusion that I've lived with even before I arrived at atheism. But atheism relieved me of the delusion that I could count on a magical, invisible man in the sky to fix things for me. It made me have to accept responsibility. Personal responsibility, personal accountability. This is what lies at the heart of atheism. Personal responsibility, personal accountability. Religious people do something terrible and say, oh, the devil made me do it. Atheist, if he does something terrible, has to say, yeah, that was my decision. But at the same time, a religious person does something good, very often they have to attribute it to their God, my God did this. It wasn't me, it was my God working through me. As an atheist, I can say, yeah, I did that. I did that. No, no. I don't have to share credit with a God that is there. No. I can accept full credit for every good thing that I do. Funny how that works. Anyway. Oh. I have to get showered, go to work. you have to go out and do things too. Take care, stay safe, stay healthy and COVID free, and love one another. Because honestly, what else is there? <laughs>